My name's Thea Fisher and uh, I'm head of commercial for Little Pay. So Little Pay is a transit focused PSP or payment services provider. So I look after our direct sales, our partnerships, so we mainly partner with financial institutions like Visa and Cybersource. So our relationship with Visa and Cybersource has been absolutely instrumental in our growth. So we just finished processing over 100 million transactions, which is a huge milestone for us. And Visa and Cybersource has given us the global reach to do that, as well as the credibility to go in a new market and point to such an incredible gold standard and partners. I think I really became attracted to the payments industry because of my academic background in economic history. So I'm fascinated with macro trends and there's a long-term macro trend towards a cashless economy. This is a very interesting time to be a woman in business. Uh, I think seeing things like Goldman Sachs announcement the other day that they would no longer support IPOs of businesses without female or diverse board representation suggests how far we've come in terms of that being a crucial step for businesses to be accepted as serious contenders in today's world. As a woman in business, I'm incredibly proud of Little Pay and our position in the market. So it's a financial technology business with a leadership team that's over 50% female. And that's really unusual because you're looking at two overwhelmingly non-diverse talent pools combined. Women are often pushed towards glamorous industries and that may actually not be where the most value is to be created. Just because it looks a little stale doesn't mean there's not something exciting that might happen. And in fact, an area that hasn't evolved for a long time suggests there's a lot more value and change to come.